Ja. We need your help. What do you mean you can't help us? I'm already in deep shit at the lab. They're starting to realize I helped you escape. Wait, not him. What happened when the chip reaches zero? I can't tell you that. Our deal! Our deal was to get you out of there, and I did. We live in an abandoned shack infested with rats. That's not my problem. You wanted to see the outside world, right? How the hell? Wala ka na ibang ginawa kundi ng gulo. Sorry po. Mamatay ng mga halaman? Drought. Shhh! Ano? Shhh! Dapat may ginagawa man lang kay mga bata kahit magkikipan lang ng tubig. Swarty swarty naman yung manok. Walang ginagawa. Ano? ano? Malulungkot siya kung manalaman niya na wala nang ani. Mas magtrabaho pa kayo ng mas mabuti. <laughs>
para sa weather forecast, magiging mainit ngayong araw. Sa mga nag-aabang ng ulan, meron pong 0 to 10% chance of rain. Medyo tuyo ang lupa pero magandang balita para sa ating mga magsasaka. Bukas po ay mataas na mataas ang posibilidad ng ulan. Ilabas na po ninyo ang inyong mga payong. Madidiligan na ang mga uhaw na uhaw na halaman, tanim at lupa. Huwag kayong mag-alala, darating din ang ulan. Hindi uulan, hindi uulan. Okay, great. So I think we can end class there. Make sure that you take a break between your classes. Those who don't take breaks only have 10% of the brain capacity going into their next class than those who do. See you on Wednesday. Take care. Did you finish tutoring? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's the new student, Tom? He's okay. Did you send out the satisfaction survey yet? Make sure all your students are 100% satisfied, okay? Yeah, I know. Okay, make sure you get a perfect score in the history test tomorrow as well. Bye.
And uh, um, what's all of this for? You know, war, friendship. Huh. Uh, anyways, uh, you know the survey you sent us last night? Yeah, um, my little sister was on my laptop when I wasn't there and she submitted it without me noticing. So if she sent in anything bad, just ignore it. It'd probably be like the first time that you get anything bad anyways. Here's the story of my life I've had fun but there's been strife Four hours for one left hand Oh, you lost handed? Yeah For the 10% that stand out in a crowd Benicio. Benicio. Uh, that looks pretty good. <laughs> He's an outlier. How's life going for you? Life? It Life, life is hard. I hate it. I can't even fist bump. Don't wanna be all by myself. having random tantrums and I, I don't know what's wrong. Okay class, we can start writing our essays now. That's that's when I knew that he was he was he was right for me. I try my best to interact, but it just gets so tiresome. And I'm at that point of my life that all the movies romanticize. High school was the best time of my life. God, I had so much fun in high school. Which I'm sure for some people is true. It's just so hard to believe when some days, even just walking through the hallways is exhausting. It's almost like each interaction drains me by 10% or something. Some days, I think of just cutting off everyone just go mute or something. I mean, it's either that or suffer in silence forever. 
Although, Silas honestly doesn't sound too bad right now. I catch myself zoning out most days. It's awful. I feel so guilty after I catch myself. But it's just all too much. Some days, I can't even force myself to pretend I want to talk. So I simply zone out, wait for the day to pass, until I can come home, sit alone for the evening, and recharge. What are, what are you doing here now? What is this? Talk to me. What are you doing? Who are you? What do you want? I'm 10% of you. You're 90% of me. Go away. I don't want to see anybody. You don't know what I went through. You don't know how I feel to see a dead family member or the struggles throughout my life. The pain, the suicidal thoughts, 
You don't know who I am. I know you. You're scared. You're scared of what's to come. You're scared you'll lose your family, your friends, your future, yourself. I know the path you walk. I know how it feels. When you miss death, it feels like you fell into a foggy, seemingly endless void. But there's always, always a way out. Keep walking, Akio. And it's okay to be feared. Persevere. Forgetting is a looped prison free from anxiety. Thank you for the insight, doctor. Well, uh, we've been working with the 10% girl, Ella Cho, for four years now, and Ella herself has been generating some prosperous things. And we're live with Dr. Corbin Wilson. Forgetting is a looped prison free from anxiety. Thank you for the insight, Dr. How's work? Uh, uh, not so great. The um, boss got angry at me today because he thought I broke our grill. So. Well, you have me now, and everything else is just white noise. I went grocery shopping. Uh, a few strangers said hi to me today. Really? 
and we can see that she can retain more than 10% of her memories through some simple self-hypnosis. I mean, all she really has to do is um, get into a myoclonic jerk and she's good. Sorry, a myoclonic jerk? Oh, right. Um, it's that feeling of falling when you're in a dream, but she just has to do it when she's awake. But we won't test it on her for the next, like, two years. Wait, why wait two years? That sounds inhumane. <laughs> it's for the sake of science. Anyways, uh, please go to 10percentgirl.com to check out our new branding and merchandise. You can also check out my new book, Mo- No, of course. Well, yeah, no, no. You, yeah, you see, her fate lost out the chance, so why bother if life's gonna make its own choices, right? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Myoclonic hypnosis. Close your eyes and sing. We can't remember everything that happens in our lives. Regardless, our memories can be so many things. From pain, passion, growth, and even loss. And I've been making them for a while. At school, with friends, sometimes at home, with my family. But playing basketball, I seem to make many. I love basketball. It was everything to me. It is everything to me. And it used to make me happy, like I was succeeding or doing something important. But lately, that sensation has been missing. I no longer feel the same way. And when I think about playing, I can't seem to remember anything new. I still play, of course. But something's different. Even winning doesn't feel the same as it used to. And it's so frustrating because this life is the only one I'm gonna get. I'm not sure what it is, but I can't remember things the same way I did. It's painful because these days of my youth are ones I hope to fill with happiness, memories. But doing something as simple as that has become hard to do. What was so special about it then? Perhaps it's me. Maybe I was the one that changed. A lot has happened between now and then. Some good things and other not so good things. And I begin to see that now. I guess that's what I couldn't do before. You have to be aware of what you're learning, what you're feeling, and why it's important to you. That's how it becomes a memory. I guess that's why they say we only remember 10% of our lives. Why not more? Just open your eyes.
So, who do you like? I can't tell you. Come on. No. Please? Fine. Come here. It's Lucas. No way. Stop, don't make it a big deal. So, I heard you had a major crush on me. What? No, I only like you like 10%. so happy? Uh, because my son got a fence into a higher class? Uh, actually I think there's a mistake. Your son scored a 10% on the final exam. He's, he's gonna have to take the class over again. What? Hello, beautiful people. You are tuning in to 103.5 KISS FM. It is a gorgeous day out today with only a 10% chance to rain. Head down to the beach now or forever. Hold your peace.
the game of life. This game is amazing. I win. Okay. That's life. Life is 10% what it gives you and 90% what you make of it. The game of life. Now on sale for $49.99. My shirt. It's ten percent cotton, ninety percent boyfriend material. You know this sweatshirt's ten percent cotton and ninety percent boyfriend material.
Welcome, subjects. I'm sure all of you know that failing this program has consequences. You may begin your first examination. Subject seven, this is unacceptable. Make sure you do not fail again. Subject seven, Surely you are aware of the serious consequences that come with failure in this program. <sighs> this is your last chance, subject. Another failure will terminate your participation in the program. You do not want to face the same fate as your predecessors. That will be all, Subject 7. Perhaps you are not well suited to this program. Bring in the next subject. No. Oh, yeah. No. Yes. Why did you let that into our house? 10% milk. Oh my gosh, we're both gonna die. Um. You. I'd even sell both 2% or soy, strawberry. But 10%? Santa doesn't need diabetes every Christmas, okay? I mean, you don't have to drink the milk. Yes, I do. And I don't appreciate you giving me milk that's fatter than I am. You can just put it down, really. I, I can't. I have to drink everything you give me because I'm Santa, Santa Claus. Claus. <laughs> Told you. Fine. Prove it. What did you give me this year for Christmas? I don't know. Surprise. He doesn't know. And want to know why he doesn't know? Why? Because he's not Santa Claus. No, I am. But the only one that believes me anymore has terrible taste in milk and cookies. There's no point in gift giving anymore. I just kind of exist. He doesn't even have a beard. Frank, he's... Going through some stuff. Have some respect. He's a mall Santa with really good improv skills. And besides, he's probably drunk. But... Oh, would you rather believe that he's a thousand-year-old magical gift giver? I mean, if those are my only options. Jeez. <laughs> I was just gonna say jeez. So it's his birthday. Big deal. I'm the one that does all the legwork and for 10% milk and Oreos. The holiday spirit is dying, and so am I. I. I used to be a healthy 6'5 and 300 pounds. Okay, Mr. Claus, it's been very fun, but can we get someone to pick you up now? Maybe like Mrs. Claus? She doesn't exist. She's a Christmas legend. Dude, you just broke Santa Claus. Where does he think he's going? I think it's skinny enough to fit up a chimney, and his country decides not to have any. Merry Christmas, Andrew. Got 
outside. I don't usually accept walk-ins, but I'll make an exception just this once. Now, what do you call me for? Um, my mother. She's dying. And what would you like me to do about that? I don't know. Save her, maybe? And what will you give me in return? What do you want? Your soul. Your soul? Oh, your soul, you know. Personality, memory, thoughts, decisions. Obviously not all of it, like 10% maybe? So you'll save my mom just for 10% of my soul? Cross my heart. I'm worried, May. Your grades are dropping. You left your friend passed out, and now here you are in my office because you punched a student. And your mom is coming to... <gasps> oh, May. What have you gotten yourself into? At this rate, you'll be empty by the end of the week. So by all means, keep asking for more favors. What did you do to me? May, this is all of you. All I did was save my mom. And get into college, and get a boyfriend, and here you are in the principal's office, all because you punched a girl in the jaw. I'm fine, Mom. Seriously, it's, it's okay. Don't worry about me. you're playing with my daughter. Your daughter? She would be nothing without me. I've been watching over her for 17 arduous years, like some stupid fly on the wall. You were never meant to hurt her. She hurt herself. A thoughtful daughter, agreeing to make a deal with the devil, all to save her beloved mother. Of course, for a small, small price. <laughs> Whatever you did, just give me back my daughter! You really do have a wonderful daughter. I was the only one listening to your prayers every night. It's only fair that I get a turn at raising her. guys, it's Sitcha here, and today I'll be, uh, sh this is a- That was me, five years ago. My 10-year-old self, who decided to pick up Alola's pet shop when she went to the toy store that day. My 13-year-old self, who was so excited to reach 10k, and my 15-year-old self, for being proud of all the achievements I've made so far. This channel was a place where I could express my experiences, emotions, things I wouldn't tell anyone else because somehow, covering up bad events with creativity, some words, a camera, and letting thousands of people into my mind is a way of letting go. Seeing people relate to the stories I put out make me happy. Knowing I could use negative experiences and turn them into a work of art makes me proud. This is why I'm scared of letting this go. People are going to tell me that I'm overthinking, over-exaggerating the situation, but when something you made is taken away and broken down so fast, it almost feels like there's no way out. Seeing something you built crumble right in front of you is scary, and I'm scared. I'm scared of disappointment, and in a world full of numbers, disappointment can mean many things. If I don't keep this up, it will turn into a disappointment, won't it? Maybe it's time to start prioritizing my happiness instead of trying to fix what's stressing me out. Maybe it's time to let go. Because I started this channel for myself. Not for fame, views, friends, money, but for expressing my experiences. It was an escape from the cruel world and sometimes I wish it still was. I wish I was still that little girl who gets a rush of adrenaline each time she picks up a little pet shop and a camera. The girl who didn't let the numbers consume her because in her head, she doesn't care. 
She's doing whatever is making her happy. Maybe that's success. So let me tell you my story of how I met you, because you were this guy. We met in class, drama to be exact. The place where your annoyingness and ego is not needed. But what's what's different different this time time was was I controlled the rain, I killed the flowers, flowers, and and I ended ended this. this. Hey guys, it's Cynthia and welcome back to my channel. The hell was that? Let me out! Under COVID-19 restrictions, the athletic department has had a 10% increase in their budget because the theater department has become redundant. 
ISP News will be right back after this commercial break. My name is Walter Chadwick, and please vote me for the new ISP president. So, who, like, who likes the boring class of math, science, English, when you can have more fun classes like gaming, TikTok, and PE? Now, who doesn't love that? My next Let's write the seniors on the face of the earth because, let's face it, they want it as much as we do. I love Water Chadwick. Um, oh, he is great for the school. You, you should vote for him. Is that it? Do I give my money? No. <laughs> Thank you. Vote for Chadwick into insert other candidate's name. Yeehaw! Howdy, partner! Welcome to Burger Ranch, where we are introducing our new double, triple, uh, char-grilled Baconator Pounder. Uh, I can guarantee yours will be 10% wider, 10% taller, 10% juicier, 10% longer. And now, for a limited time, come in without a mask and I'll give yours 10% off. Come on down to Burger Ranch, where we've always got 18 cowboys ready to satisfy your needs. Call 018-COWBOYS. Are these pictures the face of the man you trust to run this great institution? This man who does not even remember his own name. I am... What is my name again? Shadwick is incompetent, irresponsible, and worst of all, a menace to ISB. I'm a kindergartner, and uh, the other day I passed Chadwick in the hall, and he gave me this look, and he, he smiled at me. It shook me to my core. Come this election day, one vote for Chadwick is one vote against ISB. This message has been approved by the class of 2021. Breaking news in ISB News, I'm just being told now that Chadwick is being expelled for giving away gummies, among other things, as a bribe for votes. But does that even matter? Because he's just so darn cute. Welcome everybody to Channel 6 News. I'm your host, James Smith. Today's news broadcast will be cut short, as today is the third decennial choosing. As those of you know, this is an extremely important day. We will part ways with 10% of our population. Today, we will lose some of our loved ones to this cause, but it is necessary for the survival of everyone on this earth. Son. You know, you should be watching us today. Just remember this. If one of us or both of us are chosen, get to be with her again. <laughs> I'm not ready to go. I know. No matter what happens, I want you to enjoy this day. It's your birthday. You can have some fun. I don't know what to do. Nothing. We can't do anything. You have to be strong. Like you were in the last one. Like you were so strong. I love you, Dad. I love you, too.
that. The choosing begins in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> 